Alright, so welcome YouTube. This is our uh, Modern Horizons box break. Modern Horizons box break number 5 of 6. We'll be posting the 6th one up tomorrow. Fengler MTG on Facebook if you want to get in on it. Uh, go check that out. Or uh, Fengler MTG on Twitch if you want to watch the live stream. Uh, we stream live most nights. Box breaks, pack cracks, all that good stuff. But without further ado, it's box break time. So our picks tonight. First pick, Will, took blue. Second pick, Joseph, took multi. Third pick, Ben, took green. Fourth pick, Will, took lands. Uh, fifth pick, Andre, took colorless. Sixth pick, Isaac, took black. Seventh pick, Will, took red. And eighth pick, Will, took white. And he also gets the uh, bonus Kaldeheim promo pack there. Pretty sure it's... Uh, Let's see a foil force, that'd be awesome. I'd love to see a foil force. Yeah, good luck, good luck, everyone. Hey, not guilty, how's it going tonight? We're just getting ready to do our third box break. The fourth box break's probably gonna be held over till tomorrow, but the first two breaks have been pretty awesome so far, so we're hoping that this one's pretty awesome too. Alright, awesome, awesome. So without further ado, box break number four, Modern Horizons. I don't know which way we cut this bad boy. Cut her open, let's get started. This one's got 36 packs to it, so it'll be awesome. Got some extra packs to crack on this one. Guess all of our boxes have had 36 tonight, haven't they? No, our collectors was just 12, but whatever. What are you saying tonight at Not Guilty? How's it going? You just hanging out? Came just in time to watch us crack some sweet hits from Modern. Could probably pull some three, four hundred dollar cards out of this box if we're lucky. Nice, nice. Alright, so here's our Modern Horizons display. Nice, nice. That's awesome. Did you pull anything sweet? Alright, so which pack of, uh, which stack of packs are we going for first, guys? Left or right? Left or right? Put it in chat. Left or right for the stack of packs. Okay, that's good. You pulled your values worth out of it, so you can keep re-rolling on the next box. That's awesome. That's awesome. In left we trust. In left we trust, says Sawyer. Left or right, guys? Which sack of packs are cracking first? Alright, well we're saying Lefty Lucy, the Urza and the Force is in the left side. Let's go with the left side then. Good luck, good luck everybody. Modern Horizons, box break. Uh, four. This is the fifth, the sixth Modern Horizons boxes we have to break. So the last Modern Horizons box will be going up on Fangler MTG on Facebook uh, later tonight or first thing tomorrow. 
decided yet. Depends on when I get off the stream. Nice easy packs to open. So we got ourselves a spirit token with an elephant on the other side. Uh, so what do we decide? I guess the artwork card just go 8th and up will do. So the first artwork card goes to 8th, 7th, 6th, 5th, all the way up to 1, and then repeats the process. Uh, so we got the Face of Divinity artwork card going out to 8th place. Uh, what is 8th place? 8th place is white. Okay, just gotta remember that. We got a snow-covered swamp for the lands player. Will on lands. And a and Astral Drift. Astral Drift, the promo card of the set. I used to play an Astral Slide deck that was pretty sweet. And Astral Drift is just an upgrade where you can cycle your Astral Slide. Astral Slide's an old school card, so type exclamation Astral Slide in chat if you uh, don't know what I'm talking about. Astral Drift for white. Not bad, not bad. That's eighth pick. We got. Let me readjust our camera here a little bit, actually. That's a little better. Got a Goblin Aurea Flame for red. Packing creatures get plus one, plus one. Nice, nice. Where's red? Right here, seventh. Smiting Helix. That's good for, uh... That's good for, uh... Whatchamacallit? Black. That's good for, uh... You can flash it back as a Lightning Helix. Good for Dredge. Got a hollow head sliver for red. Nice a sliver. We have an orcish hellraiser. Uh, I don't know. That card doesn't seem that good. We have a venomous changeling. That's a good one. It's a changeling. Death touch. We have a regular court. Meh. Geomancer's gambit. That card's pretty decent. We'll send it to red. We have a Spring Broom Druid. Just a reminder, if I'm missing any cards you uh, guys want to get, just let me know. I'm happy to send some extra cards out. We're just trying to keep the packages a little lighter and uh, save everybody from getting a huge stack of chaff in the mail that then you're just going to have to do something with. At least when I have all the stacks of chaff, I can just get rid of it all at one go. We've got the Spring Broom Druid for green. Spore Frog. Diabolic Eek for black. Phantom Ninja. Got a Reckless Charge for red. And an Answered Prayers. Not a bad first pack. Not a bad first pack. Let me readjust where my mouse is at. The rare was Astral Drift, a functional reprint of Astral Slide with Cycling. Actually, for those of you who don't know what Astral Slide is, oh wait. There you go. It's Astral Slide. You just flicker your, flicker your opponent's stuff out of play constantly. That's how Astral Slide works. And Astral Drift is basically the exact same thing, except it has the ability to cycle for three mana, too. So awesome, awesome. We're up to 15 viewers. If we can hit 20 viewers again tonight, we're going to give away live Keldeheim set booster pack to somebody watching us. So stay tuned. Alright, so right off the bat, we got a spicy foil elemental token. We'll send that to red. Uh, we got our artwork card going out to 7th. That's uh, Mirrodin Besieged. Mirrodin Besieged, the artwork card for 7th. We got a snow covered plains for lands. And the pack rare is a silent clearing. Silent clearing, there's a hit for lands. Let's get a sleeve for that. It's like a ten dollar modern playable. Nice hit, nice hit. Second pack in. Yeah, double land. You get a snow land and a silent clearing. 
For some reason, my top loaders and sleeves don't want to go together tonight. We have a splicer skill for white. We have an ornophage for blue. We have a tempered sliver for green. Amorphous axe. Yeah, each ping lands about 10. Yeah, that's what I figured. They're roughly 10 each. Amorphous axe. Magmatic sinkhole. That's played. Got a gilded light. Got a trumpeting herd. Tree folk umbra. Azura smoke shaper. Fists of the flame. Enduring sliver. I guess we'll send that. Moonblade shinobi. And a Borgen dragon herd. Yeah, <clears throat> that doesn't seem good. <laughs> Alright, so how's everybody doing tonight? What's everyone saying? If you guys are just joining the channel, I definitely want to hit that follow button. We're going to be giving away Extended Art Valky God of Lies once we hit 300 followers. We're at about 230 right now. So hoping that'll come up in the next month or so. We'll give away that cool uh, Valky God of Lies right here. And if we get five more viewers, we're going to give away a live pack of Kaldeheim set boosters uh, live on stream. So stay tuned. Tell your friends. Let's get some more viewers out. And we'll give away a pack live on stream. we got a goblin token to start. Ooh, that's nice. Ren and Six Art. That goes to black on sixth place. Snow Covered Mountain. And the pack rare is... A Endling. Endling for black. We have a Pillage. That's a nice card for red. Feaster of Fools for black. Zafarian Decoy for white. We have a Band Astrolobe for colorless. We have a Ponder Ma Pondering Mage. Rank Officer, Lancer Sliver, Iceberg Carrot Kicks, Treetop Ambusher, Changeling Outcast is a good changeling, Strings of Disappearance, that's a good blue card, Lava Dart's a good red card, and I don't know, I usually send out Martyr of Souls, just because it's pretty good. It can be like a 5 4 in a Convoke Weenie deck in Ponder, in Popper. I don't know if anybody else is going to play it. You guys are probably just going to throw it in your bulk pile. But if I would play it, i send it out. So, Or if I could see somebody playing it, I'd send it out. Basically, that's my rule of thumb. So we got a shapeshifter token first. Ooh, we got the artwork for Waterlog Grove going out in fifth place. Nice, nice. We got a snow-covered island for lands, and the pack rare is... Nope, we got a foil. We got a Moonblade Shinobi foil, with the pack rare being... A Ice Fang Quaddle. Ice Fang Quaddle for multi. That's a pretty hot card. First hit for multi. Ice Fang Quaddle. This card's played a lot in modern. Yeah, no worries, Ben. We'll let you, uh... Are you in this box break? Yeah, you're on lands or something, right? I'll let you know what you hit. Yeah, that's a decent hit. Nice first card for multi. Why do my top loaders not want to go together tonight? Nice one, multi. On the board. First hit, first, first hit, sleeve card. Got a lonely sandbar for lands. Undead auger for black. Ingenious infiltrator for multi. 13 on face, nice. Rocks Veteran. Got a Weather the Storm for green. Winter's Rest. Putrid Goblin. Thornado. Ransack the Lab for black. Stirring Address. Phantasmal Form. And a Reckless Charge for red to finish it off. What do you guys think of the music tonight? Is it good? Just right, chill. Should we change it up, turn it up, turn it down? What do you guys think? So we got a soldier token. Got chill pillar. 
artwork going out the fourth. We got a land card for lands. Is it in Boros or the top ping lands? Yeah. Yeah, because those are the ones played in the red-based uh, red based uh, prowess decks. And our pack rare is a future sight. Future sight for blue. We got Lava Belly Sliver for multi. Regrowth for green. Tranquil Thicket for lands. Got a Crows and Tusker. Return from Extinction. Windcaller Aven. I guess this card's now played in the new cycling deck. Phobia, Sovereign Angel. Rhyme Tender. Headless Spectre. Eikite. Goblin War Party. And a Wall of a Thousand Cuts. Nice, nice. Yeah, that Windcaller Aven's now played... When you cycle it, a creature gains flying. It's played in the blue-white deck. The blue-white cycling deck. I don't know how I feel like about the blue-white cascade deck. It's good because it's got force and negation, but it's so slow, and its enchantment does so nothing. Just being able to living end at instant speed seems so much better than uh, sorcery speeding it. We got an illusion token. We got... Arla, Queen Among Bears for third place. We got a snow covered mountain. And the pack rare is. We got a Foil Mirrodin Besieged. Foil Mirrodin Besieged. So we got a real pack rare too, which is a Collector Oof. Collector Oof for green. Nice hit green. And nice hit blue. Collector Oof. I think that's like a 6 or $8 card last I checked. Very good and modern. Shuts down artifact strategies. Let's put it in a top loader. Yeah, that's a nice one for sure. There we go, green on the board. We've got a secluded steep lands. Lesser Manticore. Colorless. Who's on? There's colorless. Got a Tribute Mage for blue. Elvish Fury. Prohibit. I don't know, I guess that's playable. Got Ingenious Elemental. Amorphous Axe. Seven for the Oof, yeah. That's one of those cards that I feel like should be worth more is the Oof. Like, it's only worth seven bucks, but it's so good. Frost Walla. Ninja of the New Moon. Wall of a Thousand Cuts. I Kite. And a Goblin Champion. I guess we send out Goblin Champions. A 1-2 Haste Exalted seems okay. Alright, so we got a zombie token. Where'd we put the last art card? This one goes to second. So that's Ingenious Infiltrator for second. You already got that card, so nice. You got the art card to go with it. Foil Besiege is 350. That's not too bad. Snow Covered Swamp in the pack rare is the first sliver. The first sliver. That's a big hit for multi. Slivers are going through the roof these days. The first sliver, that must be a good one for multi. Let's get a sleeve for that for sure. The first sliver, nice hit. 50 bucks? Nice, nice. Hey Arma420, how's it going tonight? We're cracking a box of Modern Horizons here. Uh, it's been pretty awesome so far. We're about six or seven packs in. Got some spicy pulls. Uh, if you haven't already followed the channel, be sure to do so. We're giving away this extended art Valky God of Lies. Uh, when we hit 300 followers, we'll random it off to one of our followers. Uh, so that's pretty cool. We're at about 230 followers now, so we're hoping to get that in the next month. Going well? Awesome. Our box break's going well, too. You interested in you play magic at all, or are you just checking out box breaks, or... Uh, 
play Modern, Modern Horizons, anything like that. Got a Talisman of Conviction for Colorless. Cunning Evasion for Blue. Llanowar Tribe for Green. We have an Elvish Fury. A Prohibit. I guess we send that. Ingenious Elemental. Amorphous Axe. Nimble Mongoose is a hit. First Sphere Gargantua. I guess that's a hit. Smoke Shroud. Goat Nap. Soul Strike Technique. And a Chill Pillar. I'd chill with that Caterpillar. He seems chill. You do. Modern and Standard and Pioneer. Nice, nice. That's good. That's good. What decks do you, uh, what decks you play in now? We, uh, we play Modern a lot on this stream. We, uh, break boxes, break, do pack cracks, box breaks, and a lot of Modern on this stream. Uh, so feel free to check it out. Your buddy Ben told you about the channel? Nice, nice. Yeah. It's, uh, it's pretty awesome. Uh, you can check out our, uh, our Facebook page, too. I'm really bad at this. Check out our Facebook page too. That's where we got all our box breaks, pack cracks, stream schedules, deck techs, giveaways, whatever, you name it, everything magic's there. But mostly box breaks, pack cracks, stream schedules, giveaways are the big things. Uh, we got a foil goblin token, so we'll send that to red. Ooh, this is a good artwork card. This one goes to first pick. Artwork of Sword of Truth and Justice. That's a beautiful art card. Beautiful art card. That one goes to blue. First pick. Well, the next one will go to eighth pick. So we got a snow covered island, and the pack rare is. We got a Fiery Islet. Fiery Islet. Another hit for the lands player. What a nice card. Fiery Islet. Very good in modern right now. Very good and modern. 17 bucks. Jeez, Lance paying for their slot. I'm always surprised when Lance gets picked like third or fourth here. I feel like they should probably get picked like second or third. It's a lot of good lands you can get. Plus you just get like $10 worth of snow covered basics, which is always good. You're in Grixis Wurza, is it Prowess? Rakdos Sack in Modern. Been playing since Survive. Nice to see box break channels. Yeah, yeah, it's great. We do uh we do box breaks and we play modern on this channel, so uh, definitely check it out. Uh, give us a follow if you want. Uh, that'd be greatly appreciated. Otherwise, feel free to kick back and watch the box break. And uh, probably modern tomorrow or box breaks tomorrow. I'm not really sure what the schedule is yet. Got Theros of Chaos for red. Dreadscape Sliver for black. Firebolt for red. Stream of Thought. Venomous Changeling, Orcish Hellraiser, Fountain of Ikkor, Slumgar Scavenger, Bellowing Elk, Gluttonous Slug, Reprobition, Choking Tethers, and a Spinehorn Minotaur. Nothing too interesting. Boros 16, Goros, Golgari's 15, Orzhov's 12, Simix 11. Yeah, that makes sense. That's pretty much the ranked order in which they're played from most to least. Simic is played in Infect and probably just about Infect. Whereas like the Boros ones played in Prowess which is like a huge part of the meta right now. And Golgari is uh, Foil of Any is huge obviously yeah. And Golgari's played a lot now because there's a lot of green black decks popping up so I'm not surprised that Golgari's number two. We've got a Goblin Token I think this is what? Dredgescape Sliver artwork going out to 8th place. We've got a Snow Covered Plains, and the pack rare is On Thin Ice. On Thin Ice for white. On Thin Ice. We've got a Frostwall Bastion for lands. Scale Up for green. Nice one. Nice hit green. We got a Ruinous Rioter for multi. We have a Mob. A Universal Automaton, we'll send that out, that's good. It's a colorless one mana changeling. Settle Beyond Reality. Geomancer's Gambit's good. 
Marisa Behemoth, Mother Bear, Wart Wart Eye Witch, Quakefoot Cyclops, Trustworthy Scout, and a Fairy Seer, which is good for blue. Nice pack, nice pack. Don't forget to hydrate. Yeah, Seer's always useful. That's the thing. Like, I send out all these, like, one drops that are, like, one mana things. Like, a Universal Automaton, too, is kind of like... I don't know, I tried playing one or two of it in Modern. You can play it in Popper a little bit or something like that, so... They're all, like, playable-ish cards that I send out. I try to send out as much, like, Popper playable stuff as possible to people. So that you could get any card you would want. Ooh, nice. We start off with a Foil Rhino token, which we'll send to green. We have Endling artwork for 7th place. Careful on the cords, guys. We have a Snow-Covered Plains for lands, and the pack rare is... Urza Lord High Artificer. Urza Lord High Artificer. What are we doing with this bad boy, guys? Get the damn sleeve. No worries, no worries, Arma. I don't know, it didn't come up in the activity feed, but uh, sometimes the activity feed is uh, laggy and slow, so. Sweet pull, sweet pull. There you go, Blue, that pays for your slot. And we haven't even found the force yet. Urza, Lord High Artificer. Nice pull, nice pull for Blue. Whoop, I knocked the camera almost. Got a little excited. So we got a Calis Talisman of Curiosity for Colorless. Twisted Reflection for Blue. Glacial Revelation for Green. Force Non-Foils 80. Yeah, what are Russian Force Non-Foils worth? Beck, that's the set I got. We got a Rank Officer. Got a Lancer Sliver. Got a Crows and Tusker. Iceberg Caracux. Return from Extinction. Spore Frog. I guess we can send out Spore Frog. It's alright. Unearth. That's a good one. Eye Kite. Goblin War Party. And Wall of a Thousand Cuts. Yeah. The Russian ones are probably like 100-ish or something. They're pretty awesome. I, uh... They're not in my desk at the moment, but I'll show them off. I'll show them off to you guys when we finish the box break. If you guys want to see a playset of uh, Russian non-foil uh, force of negations. Foil Wren's 400? Yeah. I'm not surprised. Oh, nice. Another foil token. We got a foil squirrel this time. That's a nice squirrel. Foil squirrel. Got Astrolobe artwork going out to 6th place. Snow-covered mountain, and the pack rare is... A Bizarre Trade Mage. Wouldn't be a box break without a Bizarre Trade Mage. I think we get this rare every box. We have a Rebuild for blue. We have a Theros of Chaos for red. And a Talisman of Creativity for colorless. Fountain of Ikkor. Race of Behemoth. Sovereign Angel. Mana War. Cave of Temptation. Uzama's Charm, Tree Folk Umbra, Stirring Address, Scour All Possibilities, and Vashino Sand Sprinter. Didn't seem to be anything good in there. You swear the mage is in every box? Yeah, I swear the mage is in every box. It's at least been in every box in our case. Yo, Millie, how's it going tonight? How you doing? What, uh, were you in this box break? I forget. 16 viewers nice nice if we get to 20 viewers we're gonna give away this Kaldeheim set booster live to one of our viewers so stay tuned if you're watching and we'll pick up some more viewers you were in Theros oh right right yeah I knew I saw your name somewhere you're in multicolor in Theros I forget what we pulled we did not pull a Crocs uh, or a or a Uro, unfortunately, but we pulled a few decent things. I'd have to look back at the pile to see what exactly we pulled, but we could go over that later if you want. 
How's it going tonight, Millie? Okay, cool, yeah. I'll, I'll get those replays up tonight for you guys. So we got a goblin token to start off. We got a watchers for tomorrow. Going out to fifth place. And Ben Lee with another gifted sub. Congrats, congrats. Keeping your place on top of that gifted sub leaderboard. And welcome to the channel, Arma. Now you get used to all of our cool stream emotes, sleeves, box breaks, stream cats, 8 rack. And we got our fifth emote coming up in the next day or two, hopefully. So stay tuned for that. We've got a snow covered island, and the rare is. A nurturing peatland. Nurturing peatland. Three out of five lands for the lands player. This is why I'm always surprised that Lance doesn't get picked higher. I think the one time we got two and the one time we got five. So those were our ranges for like high to low on Lance. But I'm pretty sure we always get between two to five. So I think we usually average like three or four. Soul Herder, that's a really good card in Modern right now. Ravenous Giant for red. Good Fortune Unicorn. We got a Volatile Claws. Savage Swipe, that card's really good in Popper. Shenanigans, really good in all formats. Reign of Revelation. Twin Silk Spider. Headless Spectre. Smoke Shroud. Goat Nap. Soul Strike. And a Chill Pillar at the end. Chill Pillar always chills at the end of the pack. Yeah, Lands doing very good. Blue doing very good. Green Goddess Sleeve card. Multi's doing great because they got the first sliver. Uh, what else? I think the bottom four piles need a little bit of love still, but... Still got time for it. Okay, these are easy booster packs to open, but I'm still struggling with them. We got an illusion token. We got... Evacuating Arnid for four click. We got a snow-covered forest, and the pack rare is a Mirrodin Besiege non-foil this time. We got a Dismantling Glow, Vengeful Devil, Web Weaver Changeling, we got an Amorphous Axe, Magmatic Sinkhole's good, Gilded Light, Trumpeting Herd, Azura Smoke Shaper, Thornado, Ransack the Lab's good, Enduring Sliver, Phantasmal Form, and a Borgen Dragonheart, finishing off the pack. Alright, we got five more packs left in the first stack. Good luck, good luck, everybody. Welcome, welcome, if you guys are just tuning in, we're cracking a box of Modern Horizons. This is our third box break of the night been cracking packs for the last like four hours we got a foil bear token going to green we got ninja of the new moon going to third snow covered mountain and the pack rare is no nope, we got a foil mob with the pack rare being a sisse weatherlight captain sisse weatherlight captain for white Got Shattering Assumptions, black. Battle Screech, that's a good popper card for white. Throat Seeker for black. Wind Collar Haven for blue. Firephobia. Sovereign Angel. Mob. Nimble Mongoose Green. Wart Eye Witch. Quakefoot Cyclops. Trustworthy Scout. And a Fairy Seer for blue. Nice, nice. Four packs left in this stack. How's everybody doing tonight? Just hanging out? Just a reminder, if we hit uh, 20 viewers again in this stream, we'll give away live a pack of Kaldeheim set boosters. We got a soldier token. That's a nice art card for second. We got Sword of Sinew and Steel. Sword of Sinew and Steel. That's a nice art card. Got a swamp for the lands player, and the pack rare is Hall of Heliod's Generosity. 
all of Heliod's generosity. Last I checked, it was about a few bucks, but it might have changed. We have a goblin matron. That's very good for goblins. For red. Abominable tree folk for multi. You're back, Sawyer. Awesome, awesome. Glad to have you back. Sorry your Wi-Fi cut out. Got a rot widow pack for multi. Cleaving sliver. We'll send a red. Slumgar scavenger. No Ren and Six yet. We pulled uh, Urza, depending on what point you left at. That was our last big pull. Slumgar Scavenger. Spettle Beyond Reality. Yeah, we pulled three of the uh, Pain Lands, too. Stream of Thought. That's, uh... No, that's not the card I'm thinking of. Evacuating Arnid. Frostwalla. Ninja of the New Moon. Epiphorate for white. Choking Tethers. And a Blade Black Sliver. I guess we'll send that to red. Slivers are pretty good. Yeah, so we opened a third ping land. We opened an Urza Sawyer. I don't know what time your uh, thing cut out at. Awesome, awesome, guys. We're at 16 viewers now. If we hit 20 viewers again, we're going to give away live on stream a Keldeheim set booster pack. Live giveaway on stream if we get to 20 viewers. So keep hanging out, collecting those channel points. You can use your channel points to uh, redeem 15,000 of them for 5 bucks off break credit this month, once a month. You cut out before the first pack was cracked. Okay, then we pull the first sliver, three pain lands, uh, Urza was our big pulls. We also pulled some like $10 pulls, and we pulled uh, Collector Oof. And a couple other cards like that. Sort of range. Starting off with a zombie. We got Winds of Abandon. Artwork for first. Snow Covered Island. And the pack rare is... A Sword of Sinew and Steel. Sword of Sinew and Steel. Colorless catching back up. Colorless catching back up. Nice hit, nice hit. Sword of Sinew and Steel. That's a good hit. Got Nankuko Cultivator for green. Urza's Rage red. Wing Shards white. Universal Automaton colorless. Settle Beyond Reality. Geomancer's Gambit red. That's a cool sword. It's about 20. Nice. Marisa Behemoth. Mind Drake. That's playable in 8 racks, so it gets sent. Winding Ways, pretty good. First Sphere Gargantua is pretty good. Blade Black Sliver is pretty good. Mifferate's pretty good. And that's that what go that's what goes in the chaff pile, guys. Three cards. That's how good that pack was. Everything else was a playable. Just three cards for the chaff pile. This is why the Modern Horizon stacks get so fat compared to everything else. So many playable commons. Got an Elemental Token. Soul Herder artwork, going out to 8th place. Snow Covered Plains, and the pack rare is... A Giver of Runes. Giver of Runes. Nice hit for white. I think last I looked it was 8 or 10 bucks. So let's get that in a sleeve for you. Nice hit, 8th. Giver of Runes. I think it's just red and black now that needs some hits. Red and black need some hits. Got a Frost Walk Bastion. A Farmstead Gleaner. An Exclude for Blue. Rocks Veteran. Weather the Storm Green. Winter's Rest. Putrid Goblin. Bellowing Elk. Gluttonous Slug. Reprobition. Moonblade Shinobi. Spinehorn Minotaur. And an Imposter of the Sixth Pride. Finishing off the pack. Alright, last pack in the first stack, guys. Good luck, good luck, everyone. 12? Nice, nice. 12 for the giver? That's good. Yeah, let's see that force. We got a foil spider token for green. We got a Yogmoth art card. This one goes to... 7th now. Snow-covered forest... 
And come on, big hit. Oh, we got a munitions expert foil. Holding off the suspense for another minute. Big hit. We got a goblin engineer. Goblin engineer. Maybe not a big hit, but I guess it's a playable red card, so... It's kind of what red was looking for at this point. Got a blizzard strix for blue. Got a conifer worm green. Grave shifter black. Man of war. Knight of old Blenia. Cleaving sliver red. Evacuating Arnid. Mother bear. Uzama's charm. Vashino shan sprinter. Recruit the worthy. And scour all possibilities. Alright, awesome, awesome. So that was the first stack of packs, guys. I'm just going to take a quick 30 second break and grab another quick drink. My drink's empty. Need to stay hydrated. We'll crack the second stack of packs in a minute. Stay tuned. I'll put your predictions up in chat for what's the biggest pull we're going to put pull out of the next stack of packs. Put your predictions up in chat for what our big hit's going to be. Alrighty guys, we're back, we're back. 16 viewers, getting closer and closer to live giveaway for this Keldeheim set booster. Uh, as well, if you guys are just stumbling across the channel, you might want to give us a follow. Uh, when we hit 300 followers, we're going to give away this extended art Border Valky God of Lies to one of our 300 followers. We're at about 230 followers right now, so hopefully we'll get there in the next month or so and give this awesome card away to somebody. Uh, but without further ado, time for stack two of the packs. Thank you. 
Alrighty, so let's just move this box out of the way. It's taking up space. And figure out the stack of packs from there. <laughs> Ugh. Sorry. Alright, good luck, good luck, everybody. Pulled an Urza. Pulled a first sliver. Pulled some lands. Three pain lands. Pulled a giver. Uh, a collector oof. And a couple other cards out of the first half of the box. We got a changeling shapeshifter token. Got, where are we at the artwork cards? I think we're at sixth now. Scour all possibilities. Artwork for sixth. Snow covered island. And the pack rare is. A Kess Dissident Mage. Kess Dissident Mage. Another mythic rare for multi. Nice, nice. Kess Dissident Mage. That seems like it deserves a sleeve. It's a mythic. Nope, sorry, the sleeve's dirty because it's been sitting on the table. Got a Lava Belly Sliver. Got a Saddle Rhyme Stag for green. Baron Moor for lands. Shelter. Ingenious Elemental. Prohibit will send a blue. Defile for black. Diabolic Edict for black. Spore Fog green. Phantom Ninja. Goblin War Party. Answered Prayers. And a Chill Pillar. Chill pillar always hiding at the end of the pack. You want a snake? Let's see if we can get a snake. Everybody's feeling like we're gonna hit a hex drinker tonight. All right, let's pull a hex drinker. We got a foil soldier token for white. We got the artwork of Headless Spectre, going out to 5th. Snow-covered forest for the lands player. And come on, Hex Drinker. No, we got an Amiria's Call. Amiria's Call. It's a hit for multi again. Multi cleaning house here. Got a Vesper Lark. A Zephyrian Decoy. And a Factor Fiction for blue with a Stream of Thought, Excavating Arnid, Orcish Hellraiser, Venomous Changeling, Irregular Cohort, Ninja of the New Moon, Thornado, Choking Tethers, Blade Black Sivir will send a red, and a Reprobition. Not bad, not bad. Just a reminder for everybody watching, we'll be posting the uh, sixth and final box of Modern Horizons up tomorrow on the Facebook page or later tonight. So don't miss out on that if you're interested in more Modern Horizons. That'll be the sixth and final box out of the case. So I don't know if we're getting more Horizons after that. We got an Illusion token. Goblin Matron artwork going out to fourth place. We got a Snow Covered Mountain. And the pack rare is... It's a Deep Forest Hermit. Not the right green rare. But squirrels you control get plus one, plus one. So that's pretty cool. We got an Ice Hide Golem for colorless. Watcher for tomorrow for blue. Lanower Tribe for green. Irregular Cohort. Cave of Temptation. Spring Bloom Druid. Rank Officer, Knight of Old Bolinia, Unearth for Black, Twin Silk Spider, Lava Dart for Red, Soul Strike Technique, and a Smoke Shroud. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys.
how's everybody in chat doing tonight? Just hanging out, watching us crack packs, hoping to hit something spicy. What are you saying? Got a goblin token. We got Mephron the Boundless uh, going out to third now. Snow covered swamp and come on, Hex Drinker. Oh, a Talisman of Curiosity foil. That's a nice one. And our pack rare is. What's well, multi? Unsettled Mariner. Unsettled Mariner. This card's good too, right now. In, uh, in modern. Unsettled Mariner. I think it's only worth a few bucks, though. But still pretty good. Nice hit again for multi. Got Etchings of the Chosen. Crypt Rats, black. Or Skill Guardian, red. Geomancer's Gambit, red. Free packs, free packs, yeah. If we get four more viewers, if we get four more viewers, we're gonna give away this Keldeheim set booster live on stream. Four more viewers. So stay tuned. Keep hanging out, keep collecting your channel points. Remember, you can redeem 15,000 channel points now once a month for five bucks break credit that month. Also, just by watching the channel, you can pick up free break credit every month. We got a Spring Broom Druid for green. A uh, Band Archilabe for colorless. Pondering Mage. Gluttonous Slug. Frostwalla. Moonblade Shinobi. Spinehorn Minotaur. And Imposter of the Sixth Pride. Yeah, that's right, I'm not guilty. Tell everyone, uh, tell everyone we're out here. We'll be breaking packs like crazy. Pack cracking, box breaking. When we're not busy doing that, then we'll usually play some modern. So we got a zombie token to start off. We stream most nights, so, uh, that's pretty awesome. Always got someone to watch. Uh, this artwork card for uh, Prismatic Vista. Really nice artwork card. Goes out to second place. Prismatic Vista artwork. Got Snow Covered Island for the lands. And the pack rare is Fallen Shinobi. Fallen Shinobi. Got a Talisman of Resistance for colorless. A Generous Gift for white. Talisman of Hierarchy for colorless. Got a Pondering Mage. Mind Rack. Good freight rack. Firephobia. Even wind collar. Good in the new blue white cycling deck. Yeah, multi's grabbing all the rares. Got a Lancer Sliver. A Headless Spectre. A Nimble Mongoose. Fists of Flame. Martyr's Soul, we send that out. And Strings of Disappearance, we'll send that out. See, look again, only five cards in the chaff pile there. Oh, and there we are, there we are, guys. 18 viewers, 18 viewers. Two more viewers and we give away this pack of Caldeheim set boosters live on stream. Tell your friends, tell your family. Stay tuned if you want to win. We're just hanging out, cracking packs of Modern Horizons. It's going pretty good so far for blue, for multi, for lands. Green's alright. Red's alright. White got the bonus pack for coming in last. Colorless maybe could use some love. Red could use some love maybe. Wait, Colorless got something. Colorless got... I forget. Oh, Colorless got a sword already. So yeah, Colorless is doing pretty good. Yeah, Baller Ben Lee's been taking over the uh, Gifted Subs leaderboard this month. Uh, there's just a reminder there's gonna be a prize for whoever's at the top of the uh, gifted subs leaderboard and whoever's at the top of the cheerleader board this month so whoever's at the top of those leaderboards is a race off for those uh, so by subbing or gifting a sub you get access to all these channel emotes and if you want to gift some give some bits you can unlock the fangler coins or the fangler 20 emotes gg nilla how's it going tonight what's good what's good 
We're two viewers away from giving away a pack of Kaldeheim set boosters live on stream. Two viewers away. Stay tuned. There we go. Not guilty. Cheering some bits. That makes you the bit leader now. Nice, nice. Thanks for those bits. We got a foil shapeshifter, so that goes out to colorless. Uh, where are we at? We're at first again, right? Yeah, we're at first again. We have one of my favorites, Force of Despair, artwork card, going out to first place. Uh, we have a snow-covered plains, and the pack rare is... Oh, we have a magmatic sinkhole foil, that's nice, that's a playable foil. And build the suspense, the pack rare is... Winds of Abandon. Winds of Abandon. That's actually, uh... That's actually a good... A good card for white. It's a good hit for white. It's probably not worth a lot, but it's... It's still one of white's better hits, I think. After hitting the Giver of Runes. We've got a Goblin Matron. That's a very good card for red. Forgotten Caves for lands. Valiant Changeling for white. A non-foil magmatic sinkhole for red. We'll send all sinkholes. Ontario can't handle you. Yeah, too much for Ontario. It's only a, it's only so big a place. Only so big a place. We've got a putrid goblin. Elvish Fury. Nature's Chant. Ransack the Lab for Black. Bellowing Elk. Phantom Ninja, Reckless Charge for Red, and Answered Prayers. Cushy Motes, not guilty. Nice, nice. Cushy's is a cool dog. She's very chill. Not like most dogs. Most dogs are, like, annoying. Cush is pretty chill. Oh, there we go. Just ripping this pack to bits. At least the packs are easy to open, but uh, they're not. Uh, yeah, 17 viewers getting close to giving away that free Keldeheim set booster to somebody on stream. Nah, man, of all the people's dogs I know, Kush is, like, one of the best. Like, legit. She'll be annoying for, like, two minutes tops. Like, you know, the entire time that I'm there. Versus other people's dogs, which will just be, like, up in my face for, like, an hour. Kush is a good dog. Got a soldier token to start it off. We got... Uh, what's it? Umazai's Charm artwork for 8th place. Snow-Covered Island for the Lands player. And the pack rare is... A Nether Spirit. Nether Spirit for Black. Sometimes played in 8-rack. Got a Carrion Feeder for Black. An Everdream for Blue. A Sling Gang Lieutenant for Black. Return from Extinction. Crows and Tusker. Iceberg Karanix. Mob, Band Astrolobe for Colorless, Wart Eye Witch, Winding Way for Blue or for Green, Goat Nap, Recruit the Worthy, and a Fairy Seer that will send to Blue. No problem, no problem. Like I said, I know a lot of people with a lot more annoying dogs, so if Kush was up there, I'd just say Kush is one of the more annoying dogs I know, but she's good. She listens quite well. She listens to me quite well, too. That's a big thing, too. Most people's dogs don't listen worth worth hell to any other human. They only listen to their owner. Kush at least listens to listens to me. At least she knows me enough or whatever. But we got a bird token. We got Emiferate artwork going out to seventh. Snow covered forest and the pack rare is. A Plague Engineer. That's probably the hit Black was looking for. Plague Engineer. Real good card in Modern. Real good card in Modern. Let's get a top loader for that. We're running out of top loaders here. One sec. 
go. More, never running out of top loaders. Yeah, Plague Engineer. Nice card for black. I don't know what black's big hits are in this set, but I feel like a modern playable is probably what you're looking for. And we play that card in modern too, so. Sorry, there's a hair on there because I have cats. But Plague Engineer. Nice card. Nice card. We got Munitions Expert for Multi, Thundering Dejin for Multi, Alpine Guide for Red, we have a Shelter, Ingenious Elemental, Prohibit will send to Blue, Defile for Black, Changeling Outcast for Black, those are both good cards, Treetop Ambusher, Diabolic Edict for Black, Strings of Disappearance Blue, Lava Dart Red, and a Martyr's Soul for white. And again, three cards for the Chaff Pile. That's how good Modern Horizons is, guys. Full of hits. Three cards for the Chaff Pile. Everything gets sent out. Everything else gets sent out. We have a Shapeshifter token. Ooh, Lightning Skelemental artwork. One of my favorites. This one goes to 6th place now. Yeah, 6th place. We have a snow-covered swamp, and the pack rare is... A I Learned Queen Among Bears. Wouldn't be a box break without this card too, it seems like. We get one every box break. Better green card, Wall of Blossoms. Face of Divinity for white. Birthing Bots for colorless. We have a Volatile Claws, Savage Swipe's good for green, Shenanigans good for red, Ray of Revelation, First Spear Gargantua, that's a good black card, Mother Bear, Goblin Champion will send to red, Trustworthy Scout, Spell Snuff, and a Quake Foot Cyclops. Again, only six bulk cards in that pack, because we sent out like half the commons. Tutu Bear. Oh, the Savage Swipe. Yeah, if it's powers 2, that Savage Swipe is just really, really good in Popper. Because, like, the green deck plays all two powered creatures, so it pumps your dude to a 4 4 and then fights for one mana, which is really good in Popper. We got a Soldier Token first. We got Theros of Chaos artwork card going out to colorless. Yeah, I got that right. Snow covered mountain for lands, and the pack rare is Cloud Shredder Sliver. Cloud Shredder Sliver for multi. Slivers have flying and haste. I'm not sure if that's worth a lot or not, but I'll get a sleeve for it because it's a nice sliver. We got a Feaster of Fools. Feaster of Fools for black. Wing Shards for white. Grave Shifter for black. Prohibit for blue. Ingenious Elemental. Rocks Veteran. Nature's Chant. Wart Eye Witch. Winding Way Green. Unearth Black. Strings of Disappearance Blue. Goat Nap. And Recruit the Worthy. Yeah, damn, always multi. Always multi. Alright, so we got what? Two, four, six, eight packs left. Eight packs left, guys. Ooh, that's a spicy one. We got a foil construct token. Foil construct token for colorless. That's a nice one. We got, what's this? Bizarre Trade Mage going out to fourth. Um, I'm racking my brains here. Yeah, I think just the one mythic so far. None of the lands are mythics. Ur no, we pulled Urza and the first sliver. So two mythics so far. Two mythics so far. But yeah, only two mythics so far. Snow-covered plains. 
of the pack rare is a scrapyard recombiner scrapyard recombiner if you're trading this colorless let me know i actually need this for my uh deck oh yeah sword was the third mythic sword as well we got a rebuild uh in blue we got an abominable tree folk for multi indigenous infiltrator multi trumpeting herd oh yeah we also got cast too so we've gotten four so far good call egg spike i completely forgot about cast and the sword and half the cards we pulled so yeah it's been a really good box like i said i think the only black finally like black and white got their rare hits i think red's doing okay like everybody's gotten their hits i think so far Yeah, we were up into the 2030 range, I think, at one point. But uh, we dropped off since then. Uh, that's alright. Still got lots of people hanging out with us late at night. And uh, if we don't uh, random off that pack, we'll probably still do some pack cracks or something else and give you a chance to win it. Got a trumpeting herd. Universal automaton. Winter's Rest, Weather the Storm for Green, Rhyme Tender, Ninja of the New Moon, Enduring Sliver, Moonblade Shinobi, Borgen Dragonheart, and Stirring Address. Not too bad, not too bad. Uh, where did we just put that last art card? Right there. Okay, so this art card goes to third place. We got a shapeshifter, wall of a thousand cuts for third, got a snow covered swamp, and the pack rare is Prismatic Vista, hello lands, hello lands, three pain lands and a Prismatic Vista, what are we doing here? Lands, one of the best slots in this box in my opinion. One of the best slots in this box, in my opinion. Very nice. Clean and house. So's blue. So's multi, I think. Got a scale up for green. Got a hollow head sliver red. Got birthing bots colorless. Return from extinction. Crows and Tusker. Iceberg Karakix. Mob. Band Astrolobe for colorless. Twin Silk Spider. Diabolic Edict Black, Nimble Mongoose Green, Fairy Seer Blue, and Goblin Champion Red. So again, only like five bulk cards there. Alright, six packs left to go, guys. Good luck, good luck, everyone. Yeah, Prismatic Vista pays for your slot, basically. So for those of you who missed out on the Modern Horizons box break tonight, I'll be posting the sixth and final... Modern Horizons box out of the case either later tonight or tomorrow. So don't miss out on that. Might be the last time we have Modern Horizons for a while. Illusion Token. Answered Prayers for second. Snow Covered Forest. And the pack rare is... Reap the Past. Reap the Past. We got a Dismantling Blow for white. Talisman of Curiosity for colorless. Ornophage blue. Ooh, camera bump. We got a Mind Rack black. Got a Man of War. Knight of Old Bellenia. Cleaving Sliver red. Evacuating Arnid. Thornado. Gluttonous Slug. Phantasmal Form. Reckless Charge red. And a Wall of a Thousand Cuts to finish off the pack. Alright, what do we got? Two, four, five packs left. Five packs left. Good luck, everybody. Still, see, we still haven't pulled that hex drinker yet. Still haven't pulled that hex drinker yet. Got a zombie token. Got Sissy artwork. 
going to first. Got a snow covered island, and the pack rare is. Tectonic Reformation. Tectonic Reformation. For red. Each land in your hand is cycling red. And you can cycle it too. Cunning Evasion Blue. Squirrel Nest. Makes your squirrel tokens. Lesser Manticore. Trumpeting Herd. Universal Automaton. Colorless. Winter's Rest. Weather the Storm Green. Umazawa's Charm. First Seer Gargantua Black. Trustworthy Scout. Spell Snuff. Quakefoot Cyclops. And a Stirring Address. Oh, 17 viewers, guys. 17 viewers. Pulling close to giving away a live free pack on stream. And welcome, welcome everyone. If you're just tuning in with, to us tonight, we're just finishing our third box break of the night, wrapping up a Modern Horizons box break. Got a Goblin Token. Got Revenish Giant. Revenish Giant artwork for 8th. We got a Snow Covered Forest, and the pack rare is. A Mox Talanite. Mox Talanite. There's another mythic. I doubt this card's worth money. But it has the name Mox in it, so it might be worth a few bucks. And it's a mythic. We'll put a sleeve on it for you, colorless. And then somebody will tell me it's only worth two bucks or something. Yeah, I feel like I feel like it's not bad. It has the name Mox in it, and it makes mana, so it must be like somewhat decent. Fifteen. Okay, nice, nice. Vengeful Devil. Colorless is paid for their slot, I think, then. Got a Farmstead Gleaner for Colorless. Firebolt Red. Magmatic Sinkhole Red. Putrid Goblins. Elvish Fury. Nature's Chant. Frostwalla. Ransack the Lab Black. Bellowing Elk. Eye Kite. Goblin Champion Red. And a Reprobition. 18 viewers. Nice, nice. Thanks everyone for tuning in tonight. Three packs left of Modern Horizons. Free pack of Keldeheim set boosters. If uh, if we hit 20, if we hit 20 viewers, Kush counts. Want to become famous? Follow me. Yeah, I told the bot that the other day. They never answered back. Tax light recently rising in price due to strict save and spoilers was a five dollar card forever. Oh, so strict save and spoilers are bringing it up. That's good to know. That's good to know, Armara. Ooh, nice. We got Hogak the band artwork for seventh place. Snow covered swamp and the pack rare is. Ooh, we got a foil goblin engineer. That's spicy. Foil goblin engineer. And come on, hex drinker. No, we got a green spell too, though. We got a Force of Vigor. Got a Force of Vigor. That's two big hits in a pack. Nice, nice. Force of Vigor and a Foil Goblin Engineer. Both of those are modern plays. Nice Pokemon emotes. Nice Pokemon emotes. Let's sleeve both these bad boys. Well there, I was gonna say like red and green might have been the least value on this box, but now I think everyone's pretty much pulled their value at this point. Though we didn't pull the hex drinker yet. So maybe green's still owed a hex drinker. Force is yeah, like about ten bucks. That's what I figured. First slivers chosen for white. Tribute mage for blue. Tempered Sliver for green. Fountain of Ikkor. Marisa Behemoth. Sovereign Angel. Man of War. Tree Folk Umbra. Mother Bear. Scour All Possibilities. Fashino Sand Sprinter. And an Enduring Sliver. I don't know. We send that, I guess, maybe. Alright, two packs left to go, guys. Two packs left. Let's get that Hex Drinker. 
and uh, back you would have to talk to Andre is on colorless about that mox you'd have to talk to Andre about that mox I believe he went to bed already but you could find him on Facebook and talk to him about that mox I'm sure yeah good luck everybody good luck let's pull some spice out of these past two packs Oh yeah, Unbound Flourishing. That's a really good card if we pull another Mythic. We got a Soldier Token. Got a Wartai Witch Art Card for 6th. Snow-Covered Plains, and the pack rare is... A Cordal Vampire. Cordal Vampire. Not quite what we were hoping for. Got an or Goblin Aurea Flame. A Smiting Helix. Ooh. King of the Pride. Other cats get plus two, plus two. Where's the stream cats? No, it wasn't really a hit. Wasn't really a hit. Got a stream of thought. A venomous changeling. Orcus Hellraiser. Fountain of Ichor. Slumgar Scavenger. Changeling Outcasts. Good for black. Treetop Ambusher. Choking Tethers. Spinehard Minotaur. And Imposter of the Sixth Pride. You brought yourself a King of the Pride, Joe Exotics in the house. Nice, nice. We're at 19 viewers. One more. One more. Mine's not very accurate right now, I guess. Or let me see. I don't know. Mine's saying 14 for some reason, but... I believe you guys if you're seeing 19 because mine never works properly anyways yeah that's a ton of users in chat it's a ton of users in chat I don't see how we only have 14 viewers my OBS is not telling me the truth we got stream of thought stream of thought venomous changeling orcish hellraiser fountain of Vicor, slumgar scavenger treetop ambusher choking tethers Spinehorn Minotaur, and Imposter of the Sixth Pride. Now it dropped to 16 now. Yeah, it always goes up and down and up and down as people like drop in and drop out and stuff like that. Mine just said 14 for the past like three minutes, so it was just not telling me the truth at all. Alright, last pack, guys. Good luck, good luck. We got an elemental token. Oh, we have the Mox artwork card to go with the Mox for colorless. Nice pairing. We have the snow-covered mountain. And come on. Big hit, big hit. Ooh, suspense is building. We got a foil lancer sliver. Come on, big hit. We got a waterlogged grove. Waterlogged grove. Four pain lands and a prismatic vista for the lands player. Four pain lands and a prismatic vista. That's what I'm talking about for value. We're talking like $100 from your $45 slot. $100 from your $45 slot. Yeah, stay tuned, guys. We're going to give away a free pack for sure. Uh, so stay tuned for that. We might not hit 20 followers, but we'll probably give away the free pack anyways. I'll just do something different. We got us. Yeah, so that's what I'm talking about there. Lands. 100 bucks worth of value in their slot. That's a big hit. These boxes are sweet. We're going to be posting the last box of Modern Horizons up later tonight. Uh, I'll see if you want to. If you missed out on this box, definitely want to get it on the next box. It's going to be the last one. So don't want to miss out. We got a scuttling sliver for blue. And yeah, stay tuned, stay tuned. We're going to definitely be doing a giveaway shortly, so stay tuned. Dredgescape Sliver. Ruination Rider. We've got a Cave of Temptation. Tempting, but I won't make that joke. We've got a Cleaving Sliver. Slumgar Scavenger. Settle Beyond Reality. Azura Smoke Shaper. Rhyme Tender. Phantasmal Form. Borgen Dragon Heart. And an Amiferate for white to finish off the pack. So that was our box break, guys. If we want to summarize, we got what? Urza, the first sliver, the sword, the mox. 
four pain lands for the lands player prismatic vista for the lands player uh, we got incremental value for black and red foil goblin engineer for red green got uh, the force and a few other things uh, colorless got a lot of rares uh, pretty solid box break overall can't really say anybody went home too empty-handed. The most empty-handed slot was white, which was 8th pick, so they get the Kaldeheim promo pack anyways. So, you know, meh. You still get a promo pack out of the, your slot, plus, like, this stack of cards, which also includes a Giver of Ruins, which is worth, like, 12 bucks. So that's not too bad, not too bad. Nobody really busted hard off this box break. I'd say pretty much everybody got 30, 40 bucks of value minimum. Some people got over a hundred, so that was a pretty successful box break. Uh, so we're gonna end the YouTube video here. Green pulled pretty much every rare, just no mythic. Yeah, basically, basically. So they got their value too. All right, so we're gonna end the YouTube video here. So thanks a lot for tuning in, YouTube. If you guys like this video or any of the other content, uh, consider liking the video or subscribing to the YouTube page. If you want to check out the live action, uh, we're live on Twitch, Fengler MTG, uh, most nights, stream box breaks, pack cracks, modern leagues, uh, lots of stuff, you name it. Sometimes we just hang out and chat for a bit. Uh, if you want to get in on future box breaks or pack cracks, like the last Modern Horizons box we're going to post later tonight, uh, check us out on Facebook, Fengler MTG on Facebook. Uh, to get in all the box break pack crack action uh, it gives you it gets you access to all the prizes to win it gets you access to uh, my stream schedule I'll post it there when I'm streaming uh, lots of great stuff so thanks for tuning in YouTube and have a great night